Hi, my name is Rob Hudson. Two years ago, Al Hager and I started Salesing.com as an online forum for sailors to exchange ideas, to help each other to sail faster and smarter. Now we're launching a new series called Salesing Tactical IQ. The idea is to get a bunch of racing sailors around a table, present them with scenarios, ask them some questions, and see what ideas come out of it. We've learned a lot. We hope that you will too. Take a look. In Salesing Tactical IQ starting scenario number one, we'll discuss lurking. The line is starboard favored with 40 seconds remaining to the start. The boats on the line are drifting slowly to leeward. Yellow, blue, green, and red want to start at the committee boat. Which boat is in the best position to win the start at the committee boat? Which boat has more options? And what are the concerns and options for each boat, including rules concerns? I, I, think, I think everybody here has a good option. Mm -hmm. What? Who, who's going to do well out of this pack is all about who acts first. Right. Okay. Right. Go, go through it. So if I'm yellow, I drop my main sheet, pull my lured board up. Size yeah. Let, just, let, yeah. Drift over. Yeah. Let the boat pivot on the rudder, get clear of here, mm -hmm. and then push into this boat as tight right. as I can. And now you're inside. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in, Now these guys have no lane to get Correct. me. We've got Correct. 40 seconds to drift. Correct. I'm right. in. But I have to act immediately and spin yeah. my boat and get down. What's with the way this is laid out, I probably have to pull the board up to do it. Mm -hmm. Because if I just turn the rudder, I'm going to hit the committee yeah, button. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You say pull the leeward board up? Yeah. He's gonna, he wants yeah. the side slip. Look for He wants the okay. side, side, side slip. I want the, my but stationary the wind, point. The wind to will be, carry him down. He's yeah. right. Stationary point to be on the You're rudder. You're going to turn the rudder anyway. because mm -hmm. yeah. I'm actually going to turn it the wrong way and make it a break. <clears throat> say that again. I'm going to make the rudder a break so that I pivot on the rudder with the board up. He's and trying to use the so rudder. Push the rudder. He wants drag. I want he wants drag. drag. Push the tiller. Well, yep. that will swing the bow around. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna if I'm <clears throat> yellow and I can act first, it's to push into this position here, yeah. which is a pretty aggressive boat handling move. Mm -hmm. But that's my only <laughs> <Sure>. option. <laughs> and you have yes. to fast. And I have to well, do it fast. Or I've got 40 seconds and I can. It's I'm gonna, your best option. It's my right. best option. You could loop and you around can, and go or you back. Can spin, yeah. Or I can spin and go back. Yeah. So if I'm blue. I immediately want to go into this hole and, mm -hmm. and park. Mm -hmm. If I'm red, same play. You want to block blue from doing mm -hmm. it. Well, and if I'm green, I want to come right up to this corner, hard on the breeze as I can, and try and not let red clear forward of me. Or any of these guys. Yeah. Yeah. So your idea then would be a fast follower to, th to three? Yep. Because we have 40 seconds to go, we've got a righty going on, we're going to yeah. move down the line, we have time. So at least you have clear air coming across the line. And Well, these guys are going to really drift with 40 seconds. Yes, they're, you might have room. By the time you that, get to 10 gonna seconds, they're going to be... There's absolutely going to be a, big, gonna be a, be a hole. Yeah. Be a hole. Well, I'd like to be this guy. Red? Which guy? Red. Red? Because these guys are going to mm -hmm. drift down, and this guy kind of controls both yeah, of those holes. Yeah. So if he can maintain that position, he can... Yeah. Not yeah. worry about those two. Yes. You'd probably have, may have. The only one you got to watch out for is yellow. Yeah. In each in each case, it's a first mover thing. It's whoever acts acts quickly. That's then I point. think you got to look at your risk too. There's four boats there. One of them's going to get a good start. Right. So right. maybe you just figure. Well, odds are I need to just head down under these boats. And so one of these guys doesn't I? slip as much. So, so so let's talk about Plan Bs. So either, you, let's just say. Yellow made the move. Yeah, let's walk eat through each boat. Yellow okay. makes their move. So yellow makes the move. Where are we, the rest of us? Now we're at 35 seconds after yellow made the move. Blue fast follower. Blue. If I'm blue, I continue in. Yeah. So, so those that, guys are post. So, yep. If I if blue had made the move, yellow's making a loop and correct. You know, all bets are off. But you might be follow follower and still because there's lots yeah. of time. These two. If I'm Either of these, now that this lane is blocked off, red needs to wait for green. Red's in the most trouble. Mm -hmm. If I'm green, I go down and I find whichever one of these gaps. Yeah, yeah. Build speed and find a hole. The build biggest speed, gap. The right. biggest gap. Mm -hmm. Or can they I squeeze hope in. they don't close the door. Or, or can I clear down yeah. to a clear start down here? If it's yeah. 8 to 10, you might be able to do that. Yep. With 35 seconds. But less. right now, this gap is here. I'm going to come in right under this boom, and I'm going to try and slow this guy up and slow the pack up. 
so that the rest of the pack keeps drifting and I'll develop my hole. Well, and if you scooch that guy up, he may get worried about going over the line, and then he's got to do emergency precautions to try to slow down. Right. So you screwed up his yep his pattern. Yep. So let's assume green is moving into this position. If I'm red, I'm going hard down. Yep. Looking for my next opportunity. Okay. And my opportunity may very well be to take attack, duck, and be going out to the left. Mm -hmm. Yep. Would another option be to just for Red to wait until <clears throat> these guys yeah, started the, their take, move and then take the whole sheet up and go? Yep. Sheet up behind and him. He'd give up some bolts, yeah. but he'd well, still. Start. Yeah. yeah, he'd yeah. start, and well, and his play is probably to clear the anchor line and go right. off on port. Right. Yeah. My play if I'm this guy, you know, if you're let's four. say let's say you hooked in here at 30 seconds. The play is to slow up the pack, the drift of the pack above you. Mm -hmm. Let this pack still so push you down. Do a lot of yelling. You got to tell which them gives pump, you pump, room. Pump. Yep. Which gives you room. But you only need to hold it for about 10 seconds until you yep. have right. three feet of room here, right. so you can get your bow down and move into the hole you created. Point. Mm -hmm. But the other issue is, if you get out here, let's say you decide you're red and you want to go down here, that's fine. Maybe you can get a clear start, but if... if well, he can if he keeps speed up. Yeah. That's the advantage he's got. But the problem is, once you're down here, if the wind shifts, say, and you want to tack and nobody else does, then... Which happens a lot. Which happens a lot, but yeah. you are the lured boat and you have some... You, you are leading to the shift. Yeah, that's true. So if your boat speed is good... You know, even if you're ducking one boat, you can be a first mover on the first shift if it's an oscillation. Yeah. yeah. In Sales and Tactical IQ starting scenario number two, we'll discuss shutting the door. Green wants to start at the RC boat. At position three, green tries to head yellow up. Yellow does not head up. Green protests yellow. Will green's protest be successful? What could green have done to prevent yellow from taking the spot at the RC boat? This guy doesn't react fast enough. He lets, his, lets this guy get in there, and then he tries to love him up. Cannot. And he can't no, because he's give him room. He, can't, he can't make this guy collide with the committee boat. Right, exactly. So if you're going to work your way in there... However, if he's been sailing on this course the whole time, he can put him into the committee boat. He can't. If he changes course, he must give him room to respond. Yes. If he's been on a, sta a straight course... That's not a loophole. Okay. So if he's clear astern, <clears throat> the other guy is already parked here. If if he's already this here, guy's astern and this guy's parked here, if he's here, already there, he can push only, him up into the boat. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So if it, you, you so can't if force the, him up there. So at the moment where the overlap is created, yes, he has to give room to keep clear. If it's here where the overlap is created, this guy has room room to keep clear. He can go that way. Uh, it, he, they can't come in like this and then force him up. Mm -hmm. The room rule is if you change okay. course, you must give room. So that's the critical or if part. You acquire is, the, or if you acquire the right of way, you have to give critical room. Critical part is can this guy, does this guy have an out? Correct. When the, when the overlap begins right. or when this boat changes course. Yeah. That is an extremely good one to point out because a lot of times you'll have a boat kind of parked in here because this boat's here and this guy's kind of waiting for his slot. And so this guy comes down like this, and another guy may come up like this. And this guy's thinking, no, 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 until, I've been in my line. I'm until until this guy is overlapped, he doesn't have the rights to say, you can't push me up. So strategies for yellow to protect against green. Stay closer to blue. Yeah. Make sure that, make sure that the only collision that could happen is from behind. So now green can't come in like this and and slowly well, he go. can't now. No, this because he's behind him, yeah. and this guy can't avoid him. Right. In Salesing Tactical IQ, starting scenario number three, we'll discuss stealing a hole. Red is holding position on the line with her sail out. Blue comes from leeward of red less than six inches from red's sail. What are red's options? Did blue commit a foul? And maybe there's a little more room. Yeah, so blue comes up, you're there like everybody else. Blue comes up and is hollering for you to pull your sail in. He can. Yeah. Before you got there, before you got to here, you should have pushed down and closed the gap. So how do you push down? Let's talk about that. 
Bear, board, bear off a little. Or raise board. your board. Raise your board a little. But by the time you've gotten here, you've lost. Yeah. Here, yeah, you, you have need... to pull your sail in. That. Once he launched right, you, you're screwed. I think that guy, he came from here, right? Yep. So you're really defending people that are back here. Yep, exactly. You're, right? you're zone or, of, or a port, your a zone port of, who turns in. Your zone of defense is here. Because, and you're watching for boats, you're watching for this guy who might tack in. And you're looking for this guy or you're looking for, toss me another boat, this guy. All these guys are threats. So you're watching their language, their tiller, and you're keeping the option open to close this. And as soon as I've closed my hole, I'll probably go both boards down, shoot head to wind, let the my hole open up again. Mm -hmm. but, so tiller's obvious, you say language. What do you mean language? Maybe they're talking to their crew or... Body language, watching the t watching the tiller. Are they watching a spot? Are, do they have their eyes on your yeah. hole? Yeah, and if, do they see your eyes? Yeah. Right. So it's really effective if they just see you, see them. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, so they go, okay, well, that's not the so, place to as go. As soon as you start to make a move, it's likely that they're going to look for their next target. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're looking them in the eyes and your tiller comes down, they're probably going to look for the next Yeah, one. or they're going to go into the hole you created on that side. Yep. Which is okay. Yeah, it is. Now, how close is too close? So the guy comes in and, and it's his sail. I understand you can pull in your sail. Like here. Let's say he comes he in, come in right there. like this. Well, if he pulls in real fast. The, the, the definition of keep clear is that you can turn in both directions without immediately making contact. Right. So if they don't give you room for your stern to and fall down to turn to make the turn, that's still a problem for it. Correct. You must give ro room so you can avoid. But I can pull in my sail mm -hmm. is an easy thing to do. Mm-hmm. You can't hook the boom inside your side stay and say pull your sail in. But right. if the person comes in three inches on your <clears throat> on your side and you turn your tiller to try to avoid and, and your stern would hit them, yep. then they, they How, came in too close. However, if they came in here and eventually you drifted and became that close, yeah. then okay. it's your problem. So it's at the time of the it overlap. Is, the, 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 yeah. Initially when the right of way is acquired, they must give you room. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Sales and Tactical IQ starting scenario number four, We'll discuss a port approach. Blue is reaching and has decided to start to leeward of yellow. The wind is about 8 to 10 miles per hour or 7 to 9 knots. What are Blue's concerns? How should Blue maneuver into position? If I'm Blue, I'm going to go, depending if I have time, I'm going to go too far. Right? And then turn and come back. And this really is a nice hole. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of room there. Mm -hmm. Why don't so, you turn right into it? Because he's watching me. He alerts. <laughs> he's going to see me right there. Okay. So you want, you, you right, I'm going to pretend. I'm going to keep looking straight like I'm not going to turn. Got it. I'm going to head even, fake him. And if he does, and he pushes down this way, Chris has the option of the hole above or the hole below. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. You know, he, if, he, if Chris is coming in here and he pushes down, he can slow up and take the boat. So you have two options as opposed yeah. to one. Okay. Let's say that it's a good answer. He doesn't slide down, and so Chris is going to end up in this hole. Um, how far do you go, assuming assuming you're not going to go past him? How far do you go? I'd nudge right up under yellow. I'd nudge right up under yellow so yellow doesn't drop down, and that gives me the ability to drop off. And then you're back to the scenario where, if somebody comes up here like this, then you slide down and lose some of that gap. So, come back, do your approach again. Right now you're still on port. Well, that's if if I tack, if you tack, tack to port and then come up like this, you're still on port. You have not you have to come down to a close hold course before you're established on starboard. Yeah, but I might look at my sim. Well, you, are, you have to be you have to be 45 degrees so from I have the to go down like this. Correct. <clears throat> Which is why you like this idea. Yeah, so you're you, so you're gonna come up a little higher. Yeah. Then. Yeah, so that's a good point. You have to you can't head so, this guy up until you've gone past past head to wind to your close all course. Uh-huh. So <clears throat> while tacking, because that's import, important in this discussion, mm -hmm. after a boat passes head to wind. She shall keep clear of other boats until she is on a close hauled course. 
So if you just come up here, you cross head to wind, and you're not down to your 45 from the wind or 40 or whatever the tacking angle is in the boat you're sailing, um, you must keep clear of this boat. Now I said you're on port, which is a cheap way of saying you're still tacking. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing. You, you must keep clear. The proper terminology is you're still tacking while so, you're here. So to prove that I've made that difference, do I have to haul my sheet in and no. show? Full you do sail? not. However, generally I will go down 50, 55 degrees, mm -hmm. say the words "tack complete," and come out then, loud for the other boat to hear. Out loud for the other boat to hear before I come back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or make sure that you come by, you know, that first move of coming by and then sailing into it. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that you've mm -hmm. completed your tack if you're sailing into that hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last piece of that rule is during that time, rules 10, 11, and 12, which are on port starboard, windward lured, and overtaking boat in slang, uh, do not apply. Right. And again, the yellow's defense, we talked about the yellow can slide down. Yep. And if he does, then with that big area there, blue's still got options. Yep. Would yellow be inclined to slide down? I don't know. Depends how threatened he feels by four. Depends on how much you left him for a gap. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there's a big gap here. He's got plenty of room, and he's... So, he's so, so, what, so what's the friendly thing to do? <clears throat> if you're trying to ha let everybody have a nice start, and you're not on the attack... Come in here, tack, and sail in center of the hole. Right. Not right up against mm -hmm. him so he doesn't feel threatened. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you're coming in and you're going for a hook, I'm going to push down, burn the whole hole. Yeah. Now you end up here and none yeah. of us are getting a great start. Right. right. When it was here and there's this big hole, you all have the opportunity for right. a nice start. Yeah. And that's the friendliest way to run the starting line together. One of the things they tell you is if you're yellow, don't leave this big of a hole. You know, leave a smaller hole yeah. so that somebody's got, not threatened. Got yellow's in a great position there. Yeah, he doesn't have to be all the way up here. If he's down here, he's still got room. Thing is, you want to be able to bear off before the start and all that kind of thing. So yeah. you're not going to close that hole unnecessarily. The, the bigger the hole, the more the options until there's another boat involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Salesing Tactical IQ, starting scenario number five, we discuss kinetics. To accelerate rapidly, red sheets in, bears off, lets the boat heel up, and then turns up while aggressively flattening the boat by hiking. Does Red break any rules by doing this? And so the play is, you know, you're here, you sheet in, you bear off, you get some you speed. Heel the you boat up. Heel the boat up. Into the boat. And then turn up, sheet in further, turn up, and as you do, flatten the boat aggressively and shoot ahead. Now the question is, is that allowed by the rules? And your contention is no. My contention is no because. And which, 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 sec, which section of forty-two point two have you broken? In, yeah, broken. in pro prohibited actions. No, I'm I'm gonna say you've broken forty-two. It's forty. Let me see. Hold on. Then. How is that different than flattening at a finish line? Forty-two point one. Except when permitted by forty-two three or forty-five, a boat shall compete by using only the wind and water to increase, maintain, or decrease her speed. Her crew may adjust the trim of the sails and hull and perform other actions, acts of seamanship, but shall not otherwise move their bodies to propel the boat. So that's point one. Point okay. two is um, 42.2 alpha, yep. pumping. Now this says repeated fanning of any sail either by pulling in or releasing the sail or by vertical or a thwart ship body movement. Yep. So one's fine, two. So my contention is um, that if you, so in 42.1, except when permitted by 42.3 is the first words there. 42.3 mm -hmm. is a boat may be rolled to facil facilitate steering. Through if attack or jibe. 42.3a, a boat may be rolled to facilitate steering. Uh oh, to facilitate steering. So if Chris is turned down, healing the boat helps the boat roll up. Flattening it back out. Once you're steering. Once you've do you're done steering, is okay. Okay. Because it's not a repeated movement. Yeah. Okay. 
if you just if you didn't turn down and you yeah, just simply rocked up and went back, <laughs> you have a good case under forty two point one. However, if you if you turn down right. okay. and you heal the boat to help facilitate the turn back up onto the breeze, mm -hmm. then you're absolutely in the clear. In Sales and Tactical IQ starting scenario number six, we'll discuss a crowded port approach. With 40 seconds remaining, Red would like to start as far right as possible. The wind is 8 to 10 miles per hour, or 7 to 9 knots, and the boats are maneuverable in this wind. What are Red's concerns? What are Red's options? The question is, what's the risk reward of I'm ducking? Yeah. And, you know, Let's call it 50-50, I'm going to have a second row start. Yeah, but we're 40 seconds. He's got the time. Yeah. yeah. But it's 50-50 that I'm going to get a second row start. Yeah. Is yeah. that shift or that puff worth being in the second row versus being down here? Versus yeah. this, right? Mm -hmm. I would tend to do what, what Chris just did just yep. because, you know, why well, you, take you can that block risk? this guy from doing it. Yep. But you need to, you know, why are you trying to get there is very important. Because I like starting next to the boat is not a good reason. Mm -hmm. If you watch lots of racing all over the world, people like to start at the boat just because. Yeah. Yeah.